Well, we've already finished our kikini, we've just finished the kitchen, and now it's time to zhuzh up our farekai. Our dining room has a lot of scope. There's nothing wrong with it as it is, but we can make it look like a photo shoot for a magazine by replacing the stools with a mixture of chairs and bench seating, and dressing the white walls with some stunning artwork, finding a pendant for the light fitting, and adding in some stylish accessories. As our whare is open plan, we want the spaces to match, but we also want to have defined spaces between the two areas. He wahi our nōhoki. So I'm going to start with making a bench for our beautiful tepu here. And I enjoy and I love having all the whānau around the table, and benches are the way to do it. All you need is e ono ngā poraka raima puariare, six cinder blocks, e rua ngā poparāko, two lengths of timber the same length as the table, and fabric or whāraki to protect the floor. Ko te mahi tuatahi, the first thing you've got to do is spray your cinder block with adhesive spray, and then add this little piece of material over the top. The reason I'm using pieces of material on the cinder blocks is so that I can protect our beautiful wood floors. I've just got this astro turf lying around, actually from Kitty. All I have to do now is just put it together. With the mea mutsuma, the last thing I have to do is thread the rako through the lovely cinder blocks. Kumutsu, simple, cheap, easy, big seat. Inayane, now we're going to paint our pa kayahi, our fireplace. I've got these two beautiful colours here. Grey is so on trend at the moment. So I've got two tones of grey, a lighter tone, half tuna. And the name of this darker colour is double foundry. He whakapai te pā kaiyahi to prepare the fireplace. Yesterday we washed the concrete down with warm water and sugar soap, katahi ka waiho kia maroke, and we let it dry. And put two prep coats on kia ruanga kiritai. So today I'm ready to roll with our two coats of top coat colour. When cutting in, you've got to be really, really careful. Katsu pato. You don't want to go and put the brush under the masking tape. Also, you've got to have a really steady hand. Now to define the two wahi, our kihini and our farekai, the kitchen and the dining room, I'm going to zhuzh up this beautiful old ladder. I'm adding fairy lights, he pukupuko mahini, magazine, and he praikite, blankets, now what we have to do is hang out some artwork. Lucky enough, I have this beautiful piece of art gifted by my cousin Francis Pomeri. It's so awesome, I love it, and I can't wait to get it on the wall. The reason I'm doing this and hanging them like this is because the pieces are really heavy, and so I've used this big board up here instead of using the studs and using this copper wire to hang them as the pieces are quite heavy. Voila! Tēnā koe taku kaihana. Thank you so much, my cousin. Anei te kina. Te tiro mai whānau ma. Look at this. Te atāho hoki. It's beautiful, it's stunning. This stunning David Truebridge Kinnerlight takes our dining room to the next level. <laughs> Ina and I call my fucka utsinga itinai. All I have to do now is the final little touches. Boom! Stunning. It's a beautiful space. I don't think I did a bad job. It pays to shop around for accessories. Kia iti noa ake te pūtia, they don't have to be expensive. Atu i te rama, kāore he mea tū atu i te rima te kautāra te utu. Apart from the art and the light shade, there's nothing in this space over $50.